Welcome to AfroNation TV, your one-stop channel for all things African. In this video, we'll examine top 10 outstanding African women, what these women have achieved, their impact on Mother Africa and the world at large. Don't forget to subscribe and also share with your network. Number 10, Lydia Nsekera. Nsekera was a Burundi Football Federation president from 2004 until 2013. More so, she has been in the International Olympic Committee since 2009. She is the chair of IOC Women in Sports Commission. Lydia Nsekera is also known as the first lady of football. Lydia's success in the world of sports attracted the world's attention, including Forbes. Forbes included on its list of 50 Africa's most powerful women in 2020. Lydia Nsekera was born on 28th April 1967 to one of the royal families of Burundi. Intekera holds a degree in economics and administrative sciences from the University of Burundi. In 2003, she lost her husband to cancer, which made her a single mother to two boys. Number 9, Elward Elman. In her capacity as Director of Programs and Development at Elman Peace Center, Eward works for the reintegration of former Ashabab fighters by providing them vocational training and educational opportunities. She is particularly interested in strengthening women's roles in preventing violent extremism. In 2018, Eward was appointed by UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres as one of his advisors to the UN Peacebuilding Fund. She was a shortlisted candidate for the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize. Number 8, Amina J. Mohammed. Mohammed is the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations and Chair of the United Nations Sustainable Development Group. Prior to her appointment, Mohammed served as Minister of Environment of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, where she steered the country's efforts on climate action and efforts to protect the natural environment. Mohammed first joined the United Nations in 2012 as the Special Advisor to former Secretary General Ban Ki-moon with the responsibility for post-2015 development plan. She led the process that resulted in global agreement around the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the creation of Sustainable Development Goals. She began her career working on the design of schools and clinics in Nigeria. She served as an advocate focused on increasing access to education and other social services. Before moving into the public sector where she rose to the position of advisor to four successive presidents on poverty, public sector reform and sustainable development. She has served on numerous international advisory boards and panels. She is the mother of six children and has two grandchildren. Number seven, Bonan Matheba. Matheba is a South African television presenter, radio personality, businesswoman, producer, model, and philanthropist. The 34-year-old is known for her flamboyant presenting skills and her signature voice. Bonan has won several local and international awards. In 2020, she was named as one of Forbes' most powerful women in Africa. She's a prominent ambassador for Global Citizen and also heads of the Bonang Matheba Bursary Fund, which aims to put 300 girls through tertiary institution by 2025. Number six, Angelique Kijo. Kijo is a Beninese singer, songwriter, actress, and activist who is noted for her diverse musical influences and creative music videos. Time Magazine has called her Africa's premier diva. The BBC has included her in its list of continents' 50 most iconic figures, and in 2011, The Guardian listed her as one of their top 100 most in inspiring women in the world. Forbes Magazine has ranked Angelique as the first win woman in their list of the most powerful celebrities. Forbes magazine has ranked Angelique as the first woman in their list of the most powerful celebrities in Africa. As a performer, a striking voice, stage presence, and fluency in multiple cultures and languages have won respect from her peers and expanded her following across national borders. Angelique also travels the world advocating on behalf of children in her capacity as UNICEF and Oxfam Goodwill Ambassador. 
At the G7 summit in 2019, President Macron of France named Kijo as a spokesperson of a power initiative to help close the financing gap for women entrepreneurs in Africa. She has also created her own charitable foundation, Batonga, dedicated to support the education of girls in Africa. Number five, LCS Kanza. Kanza is a Tanzanian economist, the head of Africa and member of Executive Committee World Economic Forum. Recently, she was named one of Africa's 50 most powerful women in 2020 by Forbes Africa. She joined the World Economic Forum in 2011 and has been engaged in changing the narrative of African economy. Elsie Kanza has been recognized for, from different bodies for her contribution to the economic sector. They include Archbishop Desmond Tutu Leadership Fellow in 2008, Young Global Leader World Economic Forum 2011, Nominee Rising Talents Program Women, Women's Forum for the Economy and Society 2011, 20 Youngest Powerful Women in Africa, Forbes Africa 2011, 50 Influential Africans in the World, Pan-African Magazine, Jeune Afrique, 2014. Africa's 50 Most Powerful Women at First Forbes Africa, 2020. Number four on our list, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. One of Africa's leading contemporary literary voices, the award-winning Nigerian writer has been heralded as a rebirth of the African literary greats, the likes of Chino Achebe, Kamralaye, and Cyprian Quincy. In 2006, a second novel, Half of the Yellow Sun, won the coveted Orange Prize, and Chino Achebe, widely regarded as the father of African literature, said of Adichie, she's endowed with the gift of Asian storytellers. Adichie is the author of award-winning and best-selling novels including Americana and Half of the Yellow Sun, the short story collection The Thing Around Your Neck, the essays We Should All Be Feminist, and Dear Ija Awali, or A Feminist Manifesto in 15 Suggestions, and more recently, Notes on Grief. Adichie's work has been translated into over 30 languages. Her first novel, Purple at Beast 2003, won the Commonwealth Writer's Prize and her second novel, Half of the Yellow Sun, won the Orange Prize. Her 2013 novel, Americana, won the US National Book Critics Circle Award and was named one of the New York Times Top 10 Best Books of 2013. She was named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World in 2015. In 2017, Fortune Magazine named her one of the world's 50 greatest leaders. Number three, Bethlehem Tilahun Alemu. Bethlehem Tilahun Alemu is founder and managing director of Soul Rebels, the world's fastest growing African footwear brand and the only fair trade certified footwear company in the world. Growing up in a poor suburb of Addis Ababa, Bethlehem decided. Growing up in a poor suburb of Addis Ababa, Bethlehem decided that there was only one way to defeat poverty: use local craftsmanship to make products that can compete in the global marketplace. She decided on footwear, and today, 70,000 pairs of shoes leave her factory every year. From the humblest of beginnings. Bethlehem Tilamu Alemu has built Soul Rebels into the planet's fastest growing African footwear brand. She has created world class jobs, empowered our community and country while presenting a galvanized, dynamic face of African creativity to the global market. She is also the founder of the Public of Leather and Garden of Coffee. Down to number two, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. Internationally known as Africa's Iron League, Nobel laureate Ellen Johnson Sirleaf is a leading promoter of freedom, peace, justice, women's empowerment, and democratic rule. As Africa's first democratically elected female head of state, she has led Liberia through reconciliation and recovery following the nation's decade-long civil war as well as the Ebola crisis 
winning international acclaim for achieving economic, social, and political change. Recognized as a global leader for women's empowerment, President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf was awarded the prestigious Nobel Prize for Peace in 2011. She's a recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom, United States Highest Civilian Award, and the Grand Cross of Legion d'Honneur, France's highest public distinction for personal courage and unwavering commitment to expanding freedom and improving the lives of Africans. President Sirleaf has been named one of Forbes 100 Most Powerful Women in the World, the Most Powerful Man in Africa, Forbes Africa 2011, one of six Women of, of the Year, Glamour 2010, among the 10 Best Leaders in the World, Newsweek 2010, and Top 10 Female Leaders Time 2010. In 2010, the economists called her the best president the country has ever had. Now to our number one. I hope you're ready. Ingozi Okonjo Iweala. Ingozi Okonjo Iweala is the seventh director general of the World Trade Organization. She took office on the 1st of March 2021, becoming the first woman and the first African to serve as director general. Dr. Ingozi Okonjo Iweala is a global finance expert and economist an international development professional with over 30 years of experience working in Asia, Africa, Europe, Latin America, and North America. Dr. Iwiala was formerly chair of the board of GAVA, the Vaccine Alliance. Since its creation in 2000, GAVI has immunized 760 million children globally and saved 13 million lives. She was previously on the boards of Standard Chartered PLC and Twitter Incorporated. She was recently appointed as African Union Special Envoy to mobilize international financial support for fight against COVID-19 and WHO Special Envoy for access to COVID-19 tools accelerator. She is a skilled negotiator and has brokered numerous agreements which have produced win-win outcomes in negotiations. She is regarded as an effective consensus builder and an honest broker enjoying the trust and confidence of governments and other stakeholders. Previously, Dr. Inko Okonjo Wiala twice served as Nigeria's finance minister 2003 to 2006 and 2011 to 2015 and briefly acted as foreign minister in 2006. The first woman to hold both positions, she distinguished herself by carrying out major reforms which improved the effectiveness of these two ministries and the functioning of the government machinery. She had a 25-year career at the World Bank as a development economist rising to the number two position of managing director operations. As a development economist and finance minister, Dr. Ekonjo Iwiala steered our country through various reforms ranging from macroeconomic to trade, financial and real sector issues. Thank you for watching. This is AfroNation TV once again. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your loved ones. See you in our next video.